Welcome to a beautiful Saturday afternoon, Rocky Marciano Stadium, on Colombo Field. Leo Genitasio, along with the Brockton legend, Orlando Galveo, Mike the Postman Simmons on the production today. The 11-3-2, a 12th seed of Brockton boxes, are taking on the 21 seed from Somerville, the Highlanders, 15-2-1 in the MIAA Division I State Tournament. And Orlando, this is what it's all about. Brockton wins the Southeast Conference. Goal number one, successful. You talk to Coach Arminio Furtado, he told you, the aspirations every year with state championships. Right, uh, is you win, you go, you go home. So, a new season starts today, and uh, his team is confident. He is confident, and um, Brockton obviously always has a team out there that can can beat anybody anytime. So the Highlanders came in with a 15 and 2 1 record, two losses coming to Everett three to two and Lowell three and two. Let's talk about their starters. Starting will be Rafik Miller, a senior. Samuel Texera, a junior. I'm sorry, Rafik Miller's a junior. Francisco Santos, a junior. Eric Nunez Estrada, a junior. Jose Lopez, a junior. Mago Hawks-Hawley, a sophomore. Joshua Zatino, a senior. Lucas Firmino, a junior. Imani Mixon, a junior. And Marcus Odilion, a senior. So talking to the head coach, Orlando, Tiago Modurera, before the game, what do you expect today from Somerville? Well, if you look at this team, it's only boasted up with only five seniors. Um, very young team, and um, they are led by a top uh, sniper. 13 goals in the season, Eric Estrada Nunez. Got to watch for him. Very exciting player. And also captains uh, Amani Mixon, uh, along with captains Jose Lopez, and Francisco Santos. As you see their record, uh, 15 and two and one. Very, very impressive. This team can go at it. This team can uh, score goals. This should be very exciting. So the boxers come in today at 11-3 and two. Their sole losses this season to Durfee, two to one, a game which they came back and beat them. Lowell, one to nothing, and Braintree, four to one, and they turned around and beat Braintree a few days later. The boxers starting lineup will be Wilson Andrade, a junior. Valdemir Rodriguez, a junior. Benicio Andre, a senior. The superb Wolf Lentz Victor, a senior. Janelson DeBrito, a junior. Fabio Fernandez, a senior. Edgar DeAndre, a senior. Wadley Paul, a senior. Alexandro Marrera, a junior. Alessandro Tavares, a junior. And Jason Marrera, a sophomore. Token, talking to Coach Furtado, uh, Orlando, what are we looking at as far as the boxes? and what they expect to ex from their club today? Well, uh, obviously, they, they understand they're playing a very tough opponent. Um, in a playoff like this, especially when it comes to soccer, uh, one goal can tell the difference. So you got to get off to a great start. He wants his team to get off to a great start because that first goal uh, might not mean the whole story, but could tell the uh, uh, if you get off to a good start, that's a big plus going into this uh, playoff game. So the captains are with the referees today, and the referees, Orlando? Referees for today, yes. Uh, the lead referee, uh, we have Larry Codwell, and the assistant referees is Jerry Hogan and Juan Aguilar. So the captains just got the toss, and we will listen to school athletic director Kevin Cairo announce the starters, along with the national anthem. Number five, Samuel Texera. Number seven, Gabriel Asanawa. Number eight, Jose Lopez. Number 10, Eric Estrada Nunez. Number 14, Jose Lopez. Number 15, Marco Hoxali. Number 17, Joshua Sandoval Zatino. Number 24, Lucas Firmino. Number 25, Amani Mixon. And number 28, Marcus Adillion. And now for the starting lineup for your Brockton Boxers. Number zero, Wilson Andrade. Number two, Valdemir Rodriguez. Number three, Benicio Andrade. Number four, Wolf Lentz Victor. Number six, Janilson DeBrito. Number eight, Fabio Fernandez. Number 10, Edgar DeAndrade. Number 11, Paul Wadley. Number 15, Alessandro Marrera. 
Number 20, Alessandro Tavares. And number 21, Jason Moreira. So we get the starters again from athletic director Kevin Cairo, and we're going to get the national anthem now. By the school board is the Auto America with the playing of our national anthem. So, back here again, Rocky Marciano Stadium, Armand Colombo Field, Leo Genitasio, along with the legend, Orlando Galvao, the, the postman, box. Mike Simmons on the production, the, the Boxers and the Highlanders in the first round of the MIA Division One State Tournament. Brockton looking to move on, Orlando. They'll play the winners of Weymouth and King Philip a game Monday, the following Wednesday, if they win. If the uh, Weymouth wins, the game will be in Weymouth. If King Philip upsets, the game will be here at Rocky Marciano Stadium. Well, uh, can't right now. Can't worry about that. We gotta take care of business right now. This is playoff uh, soccer. Very exciting. I'm pumped up. Brockton's ready to go, and uh, let's go. Let's do this. Coach Furtado has been coaching Brockton since 2016. He's won a state championship with a nationally ranked team. He's been to the South Finals before. Brockton always a threat when it comes to soccer when it's tournament time. Somerville has a long tradition of excellence in the north area of Massachusetts. So today should be a terrific matchup. Yes, indeed. Brockton's led by uh, Edgar Fernandez, 14 goals in the season, along with uh, Fabio, uh, excuse me, uh, Edgar De DeAndre. Excuse me for that, 14 goals and Fabio Fernandez, nine goals. And uh, watch out for Victor as well. Left footer, he can really uh, kick that. Uh, he has a good foot, and he can score from any part of the field. So we've covered this game a few times. In both games, he's been the best player on the field, he offensively, sure defensively. He's a terrific athlete. He scored a beautiful header on a set piece against New Bedford. He's dominant in the back end, along with those other two, along with them, uh, Valdemir Rodriguez and Benicio Andre. The Brockton defense has been terrific all season. So Brockton will control the ball in the first half, and we're seconds away from this MIAA first round matchup. The ball's back to Wolflands Victor. He sends it deep, and he is looking for Pina Santos, and it's headed out, and Brockton will control the throw. So Alexandro Moreira with the throw at the, about the 40-yard line of Somerville. He throws it deep, looking for Wadley Paul, and he makes a nice move. He has a little bit of room. He takes it. He keeps going. A little bit of a hard touch there. Yeah. He made a terrific first move, Orlando, but the, the first touch there off the move was a little bit hard, and the ball goes out of bounds for a goal kick for Somerville. Yeah, a little bit too strong. Um, looked like he had an angle there. Like I said, he kicked it ahead. A little bit too strong to went out of bounds, unfortunately. So the Highlanders control the ball. And that will be Texera. He sends the ball deep, and it's controlled by Benicio Andre. Headed back over, and that's Alessandro Moreira in control. The ball's going to send back. It's Wolf Victor. Nice play back to the goaltender with number six, Samuel Texera, who was charging in. The ball's played back to the Brockton goalkeeper, and he controls it with his foot. Quick move, sends it back over to Benicio Andre up to Wadley Paul. The ball's turned over, and it's the Wolf Victor. 
and he's very cool under pressure right there and sends the black ball back over to Valdemir Rodriguez. The ball sent up looking for Benin to Andre, controlled by Somerville. The ball's over, intercepted, and now it's going to be Benicio Andre. Yeah, it looks and like they're going to call a trip on uh, Wadley there. So Somerville will have a direct kick around the 30-yard line of Brockton as we're just under 40 minutes of a 0-0 game. Teams seem to be feeling each other out here early. Yeah, then watch out for this kid, uh, Eric uh, Nunez. So Nunez Estrada, and he'll be alongside with number 25, Imani Mixon. Brockton sets their marks on the defensive part of the field. And the ball is sent over to Estrada, and he lets one go, and a good defensive play by number 11 from Brockton, Wadley Paul. So controlled again by Somerville, they send the ball deep and Wolf Victor sends it out. He's got DeAndre, a nice move, one touch to himself. He controls the ball, he has space. Brockton sends him forward, it's a, direct, a terrific ball to Fabio Fernandez. Fabio has space, he comes in and he will, oh, oh. off the post. I believe him. Oh. oh, he had all the room in the world there and he just one touched it a little bit too hot for himself. But a terrific pass by Andrade, and Brockton probably should have been on the board there. Unbelievable. It looked like Brockton had, was going to strike first blood there, but hits the post. So, Wolf lends Victor to Fabio Fernandez again. The ball sent back out deep. Victor controls it again to number 20, Alessandro Tavares. He has Alexandro Moreira. Moreira sends it in deep, controlled by Somerville, and Brockton head is in. Wadley Paul in control. He has room. He still has the ball, and it's intercepted. Nice play by the Somerville defender, and he sends the ball deep. So we will have number three, Benicio Andre. He has room. He turns it, controls the ball in a nice play, and he sends the ball deep, looking again for Edgar DeAndre. Somerville has the ball. They send it deep. And Brockton will take control of the ball. The ball's over now to Janilson DeBrito. DeBrito, and we're going to get a foul on Somerville, and Brockton will have a... Direct kick. Wow. What great action to start the, uh, this game for Brockton. Nearly took a 1-0 lead. So, Wolf Lentz Victor, Benicio Andre. He sends the ball up, and Brockton turns it over, and some of them will have a throw in at their own 40-yard line. The throw will be by number 17, Joshua Sandoval. The ball controlled by Brockton. Kicked out by number 2, Valdemir Rodriguez. Kicked back up. Brockton tries to take control at midfield, and Somerville has the ball. The ball sent in deep, and that is number two, Valdemar Rodriguez. Ball sent back. Wolf Lentz Victor with a left foot. Ball goes sideways, and we should get the ball going out of bounds with a Somerville throw in. No, Brockton, nice play by Benicio Andre, keeping it alive, and Brockton's able to get the ball out. The ball sent deep, and Valdemar Rodriguez uh, kicks it out of danger there. Just gets ready. Nice play by the boxer, junior defenseman. So we're at 35 minutes of the first half, 0-0. Leo Genitasio, along with the legend, Orlando Galveo, the postman, Mike Simmons, on the production. The Highlanders in the boxes, the MIAA Division I State Tournament, a Somerville throw-in. A lot of boxes over there. Nice play to keep the ball alive. Somerville kicks the ball back. Brockton in control. Wolf Lens Victor. Like he is usually all in the right place at the right time. Janelson DeBrito looking for Fabio Fernandez now. Fabio with the ball. He has space. He's made a couple good runs today. He continues. Yeah. And that looks like we might get a, yeah. penalty, a, a foul. And on Brockton will have the free kick. On Somerville. Watch so, out. They like to use Victor in, the, in these, uh, the side of the field. But it uh, looks like he's coming uh, towards the goal. So that will be number 15, Alexandro Moreira, the junior. Looking to throw the ball into, kick the ball into a dangerous area. And here's the kick. It's a nice one. He's got a little bit of room. He was uh, looking for Wolf Lentz Victor, who was yep. streaking towards the net. Looked like that was a, a set piece, Orlando. A little bit too far for Victor to handle. So Somerville at numbers now. Nice play by Benicio Andre. Turned over now for number 15 from Somerville is Marco Hawks Holly. He turned here. the ball. They have a little bit of room. And a nice play by Delgado with a great defense. Valdemar play. Rodriguez. And that's Pina Santos. Janelson DeBrito with the ball. 
He turns it over. Somerville with the ball. Number eight from Somerville is Francisco Santos. And Brockton with a good defensive play. And Edgar DeAndre has the ball. He's sprinting down. He's inside the Somerville 20 yard. He has room. A nice center pass. And the goalkeeper, Rafik Miller, intercepts the ball. So Brockton's had a couple plays of land over. They got the ball into dangerous areas, unable to come up with that first goal. And it gets over the head of number two, Valdemar Rodriguez. And the ball sprinting. Good defensive play by number 15, Alexandro Marrera. As he comes back and intercepts the ball. He takes the ball over, controls it, gets the ball out of a dangerous area. Janosin DeBrito with the ball. He's getting pushed around. He turns it over. Number 10 for Somerville with the ball is Eric Estrada. And he kicks the ball out of bounds for a Brockton goal kick. Yeah, try to, try to angle that, but pushed it uh, way to the right. So the free kick by the goaltender sends it over to Benicio Andre, to Valdemir Rodriguez. Janelson DeBrito with room. He has a little bit of space. He gets the ball up to Wadley Paul. Wadley Paul with space. He looks for Edgar DeAndre and Fabio Fernandez with the ball. Oh, oh that could be a card, but yep. I don't think they'll call it. That was a trip, and Somerville will be called for the foul, and Brockton will have the free kick at about the 45-yard line of the Highlanders. Yeah, lead referee uh, Larry Caldwell that time. Deemed it as a, just a normal foul, and Brockton will get a free kick. So usually you might get a card there because Brockton had some space, but no, no, no foul. So we're going to get Alexandro Marrera on the kick. The boxes send everyone deep, only two guys back. It's a terrific kick, and it's going to head over to the goalkeeper, mm. and he controls it with no issues. That's Rafik Miller. He's outside the box, and he sends the ball deep to number 17 from Somerville. And that's Joshua Sandoval. He sends the ball deep, intercepted by Wolf Victor. Number 20 from Brockton is Alessandro Tavares. And Fabio Fernandez with the ball, intercepted again by number 15, Alessandro Marrera. He looks for Wadley Paul, a nice one-touch pass, and it's intercepted by Somerville. And that's number 10, Eric Estrada. Watch he out sends here. the ball deep, and they have room. And the offside will be called right around the 31-yard line of Brockton. So the boxers will have the ball after the offside. And Brockton with the kick, and that will be number two, Valdemar Rodriguez. And he sends it deep. He's looking for Wadley Paul, and it's set it up by Somerville, controlled by Benicio Andre. Benicio, one touch pass to Wadley Paul. Wadley, nice move up the middle. Sends the ball deep over to the corner, looking for Fabio Fernandez and Jason Marrera. Intercepted by Somerville, they send the ball deep, and there's Benicio Andre again. Wadley Paul with a little bit of He has space, good defense oh, good by defense. Somerville. Number 10 from Somerville is Eric Estrada's Nunez with a terrific play. Ah, that's gonna be a foul on Brockton. So the trip will be on Fabio Fernandez, and Somerville will have a kick, uh, free kick at their own 35 yard line. Right. Looks like the referee's talking to both teams, Orlando. You want to get this physical play under control. Right. Lead uh, referee uh, Larry Caldwell wants to put the stop to that right now. Going so forward. Somerville kick is deep. There's a lot of boxes there. Controlled by, who is that? And he kicks it backwards. That's Jason Marrera. Intercepted by number 15 from the boxes, Alexandro Marrera. Intercepted. Nice play by Somerville's Marco Hux Holly. So Brockton will have the throw in. Alexandro Marrera. And the ball is kicked out by Brockton. It'll be a Somerville throw-in, and that will be Joshua Sandoval, who's going to leave it for this defenseman. He's going to get. We actually had a foul there, so Somerville with the kick at about the 30-yard line. Always, always got to watch out for these uh, free kicks. So Brockton brings its defense a bit out high, maybe try to get the offsides there. So the kick will be by number 25 from Somerville. Imani Mixon, the ball sent in. Brockton defensively is there. A lot of boxes still there. Janelson DeBrito with a nice header to get it out of trouble. Controlled by Somerville and a great attempt by Marco Hawks Hawley, who sends it over the crossbar for the goal kick as we creep under 30 minutes in the first half of a 0 0 game. Yeah, Hawks Hawley um, tried to uh, kick it to himself, uh, was a little bit too hard on the kick. Sails over the goal. Brockton gets a free kick. So Wolflin's Victor on the kick. The left footer sent very deep. An excellent kick. He's got Fabio Fernandez there. 
Janelson DeBrito and Alexandro Marrera. It's back to Alexandro Marrera. Somerville tries to control it as the ball goes to the center of the field. And Jason Marrera. <laughs> and I think we're going to get another foul there. I'm not I'm surprised you haven't seen a card yet, Orlando. Mm -hmm. A couple of Brockton breakouts have been fouls that have stopped a uh, dangerous play for the boxes. So the free kick will be from Wolf Lentz Vector. Well, the referees are letting him play right now. He sent the left footer, sends it deep. He's looking for Fabio Fernandez, who's there. Somerville controls it. Jason Marrera, one touch over to Benicio Andre, to number 21 from Brockton, and that's Jason Marrera again. Edgar DeAndre with the ball. He's intercepted. Somerville with the ball. A nice one, nice move up the middle. He has room. He continues, and he... No, he fell over his own feet. Right, the, the Somerville uh, coaches are very upset. They felt like that should have been a trip, should have been yeah, a foul. He fell over no his own call. Feet. That was a good non-call. He right. had a good sprint out there by number ten. That was Eric Estrada Nunez, but he there was no Brockton. He had to touch him. Yeah. So the ball's over now to yeah. Nunez is still down for Somerville. Um, so he may get a timeout here, but uh, Coach uh, Tiago Marrera is not happy about the non-call. I don't think we. To have the replay of that play. We do. So the postman right on top of things again. We're going to see that right there. I don't think Brockton touched him. And Estrada, their leading scorer, hopefully he's okay. Well, I'll tell you what. He may have Brock landed on his hip. Brockton didn't touch him. He should get a, an Academy Award. <laughs> <laughs> so the kick goes over, and that is number three from Brockton, well, uh, Benicio Andre. He kicks the ball deep. Fabio Fernandez sprinted, one touch behind his leg. He controls the ball, intercepted, back over to Fabio Fernandez. He has Wadley Paul breaking. He kicks the what ball, another nice move. I'd like to see him get rid of that ball. Right. So a little bit too much dribbling there. And the ball's back to number 21 from Brockton, Jason Marrera. He sends the ball looking deep, and that's Edgar DeAndre sprinting. Uh, and a good defensive, defensive play. play by number 25, Amani Mixon. So Brockton will get a throw in around the 10 yard box of Somerville at 26 minutes of the first half of a scoreless game. Wolf Lentz Victor. Let's see how far he gets this to the box. And it's a terrific throw. The ball goes close. There's a header by Brockton. Wadley Paul's here. He makes one move, another move. A oh, great defensive play that time. Again, Nunes. So Brockton, Valdemar Rodriguez able to keep the ball alive. Looking for number 15 from Brockton. Alexandro Marrera intercepted, and the ball will be out of bounds for a Brockton throw-in. And that will be Alessandro Tavares. He's telling the boxers to move forward. The ball's in looking for Wadley Paul. Wadley Paul kicks it, and we're going to get an offside on Brockton. Mm. Actually, I, he stepped out of bounds. So a throw-in by number 17 from Somerville, which is Joshua Sandoval. The ball sent deep. Looking for number seven, Gabriel Asanasio. The ball sent deep, and he's got a sprinting Asanasio. He's inside, too, on side. And, you know, you Sorry. just can't beat yeah. Wolf Lentz Victor in a race. Yeah. It's just not going to happen. So back over to Benicio Andre. Benicio has room. He sends the ball deep. He looks for Wadley Paul, intercepted. But Fabio Fernandez is right there. Janilson DeBrito with the ball. He turns it over. And that's number eight from Somerville. And it's Victor Francisco again. Francisco Santos and Wolf Lentz Victor at the interception. He has Edgar DeAndre, a hard touch. And the ball is controlled by Edgar DeAndre. He has the ball. He looks. He sends the ball deep. He has Fabio Fernandez there. Fabio with the ball. A nice touch to himself. Turning around. Looking for Jason Marrera. It's a terrific pass. He has room. Oh, Hits it's the post. crossbar. Alessandro wow. Marrero and a terrific pass from Fabio Fernandez. And Brockton's had two posts today. An absolute bullet. And it hit the top of the crossbar. Wow, Somerville dodged a big bullet there. So the Highlanders are lucky they're not down 2 nothing right now. Wolf Lentz Victor with the throw in. And it's another terrific throw. Looking for. That's yeah, yeah. going to be a push on. Yeah, that's a Edgar good call. That's, that's, a good a, call. that's a good call. So we're at under 25. Leo Genitasio, along with the legend, Orlando Galveo. You know him all over Brockton. South side, west side, Camp Paulo Montello. He's a legend. Yeah, the action to this game has been unbelievable. Up and down action so far. The postman, Mike Simmons, on the production. The ball sent deep, and it's Wolf Victor. Sends the ball back to Benicio Andre. Benicio Andre intercepted, and we're going to get a foul on Brockton, and that will be on, it looks like it might be on Jason Marrera. Oh, it's on Alessandro Tavares. So Somerville moves fast. The ball sent in. 
looking for Estrada. And Brockton controls the ball. The ball's over Janosin Debrito to Fabio Fernandez. A nice move by Edgar yeah, DeAndre. What a move. Still with the ball. He still has the ball. He controls the ball. He sends the ball deep. Looking for number and 21, Jason Marrera. Should have been a foul there. Jason Marrera has the ball. He sends it to Fabio Fernandez. Fernandez with the ball. We got to play Edgar it down. DeAndre's on the down, field and we're going to get a call. And Brockton cannot lose this guy. He has right. been there. Most potent attacker the well, entire well, season. Well, referees have been calling basically a lot of um, tripping, a lot of fouls out there, and they missed that one. You know? So it looked like the Somerville defender stepped on his foot, and we'll hope Edgar is okay. So Brockton's had the better of the scoring chances today. Several threats, two posts, one including a crossbar, as he's not going to come out. I doubt you're going to get him out of the game. Good to see him get up. Shake it off. There you go. So Brockton will have a set piece, a free set piece at the 30-yard box. We're creeping under 25 in a 0-0 game. You think both of these teams know this is the MIA uh, tournament? Well, for these seniors, it's their last game of high school. They don't want to go out in the first round. And Coach Furtado, He's not expecting losing this game. So the ball sent in deep, headed out by Somerville. The ball sent over, and Brockton will have a header over there. Fabio Fernandez looking for the ball, and a good play by Somerville, sending it deep. And it looks like we have Benicio Andre, who sends the ball back up deep. And it's sent back. Benicio Andre sends it again, looking for Fabio Fernandez. Jason Marrera is there, along with Alessandro Tavares. And that's Janelson DeBrito. A nice touch pass. Another touch pass, Edgar DeAndre. Mm. Behind his back. He looks, he's looks, he takes his time. He sends the ball deep over looking for Alexandro Marrera. The ball's intercepted, and Wadley Paul is there. And Benicio Andre. Benicio Andre back over to number 20, J Alessandro Tavares. Looking over to Edgar DeAndre, who is intercepted by the Somerville defender. The boxes are so good with the ball. And that's Very Samuel skillful. Texera. Samuel Texera loses the ball. We'll get a throw in for the boxes. And that is to Jason Marrera. And we're going to get another penalty, another foul. Yeah. So Brockton will get another kick at around the 20-yard box at the 22-minute mark of the first half of a scoreless game here from Rocky Marciano Stadium, Armand Colombo Field. Been a physical one, Orlando. Yeah, it sure has. It's what you expect for the first round of the playoffs. When uh, you lose, you go home. You know? So we're going to see Alessandro Marrera over there, and it looks like Alessandro Tavares is with them. Brockton sends people deep near the top of the box. And it looks like it's going to be Marrera. He sends the ball deep. It's a terrific Whoa. kick and a great play by Rafik Miller, the goaltender. If wow. he had dropped that, it was a Brockton goal. So the Victor ball was flying towards the goal, and... That looked like it was going to be a good one, but great to, uh, play by the goalie there. So some of it will get a throw in around the 40-yard box of box to Brockton. Joshua Sandoval will be on the throw. Talking to the head coach, Tiago Marrera. He sends the ball back to number 10 from Somerville, Eric Estrada Nunez. He sends the ball deep, a terrific kick, and that will be caught by the Brockton goaltender, Wilson Andre. He sends everyone deep. Wilson Andre with the ball. He sends everyone deep. We're going to see a kick here, most likely. And it's a good one. He sends the ball right up to midfield. It's Wadley Paul there. Wadley Paul is able to control it. And the ball's going to go out of bounds off Somerville. And we'll get a throw in for Alexandro Marrera. He looks for Wadley Paul. Wadley Paul with the ball. Kip push from the back. Marrera with the ball. Sent deep by Jason Marrera. Controlled by Somerville. They send the ball up deep. Somerville with the ball. A nice bicycle saucer over his head. Controlled by Brockton. And we'll get another foul. This one's on the boxes. Again, Nunez is down. He's been he's been on he's been on the uh, the turf a lot uh, this first half. So I gotta think, Coach Herminio Furtado has been happy with Brockton's effort this first half. They've controlled play. Lucky, Somerville's lucky not to be down two nothing. Mm -hmm. So here is the free kick from the Highlanders. It's a terrific kick, left footed kick, looking to the left side. And it's a set piece, actually, and that ball's going to be intercepted yeah. and a throw in and on for Somerville. And that will be number 21, Jackson Love, on the throw. Good play by Marrera that time. Just get the ball out. The ball sent back to the defenseman. 
And that is number 28, Marcus Adillion. He sends the ball back over to 25, Imani Watch Mixon. Brockton intercepts the ball. And that will be back deep, and Rafik Miller will control it with no issue. And we're under 20 minutes of the first half. Miller, the junior goalkeeper, terrific kick up the middle. Brockton sends the ball back, and it is Wolf Victor. And he makes a play. He loses the ball. Somerville sends the ball front, and that is their most dangerous threat of the day. And Wilson Andrade controls it. Nice play by Somerville. Benicio Andre sends the ball. A nice pass to Janelson DeBretto. Janelson with the pass to Wadley Paul. Wadley Paul has, has Jason Herrera sprinting. He sends the ball deep, looking for Edgar DeAndre. It's a terrific pass. He has room. Look at this. Fabio Fernandez. What a goal! Beautiful tick tock goal for the boxers. What a goal by Brockton. And you know, that's what you want to see. They get the first goal. Brockton has dominated his first half, and finally, it pays off with a goal. Wadley Paul and a terrific pass up to Marrera. He sends it over to Edgar DeAndre. A terrific pass to Fabio Fernandez, and the junior striker puts it in the back of the net. He has his 10th goal of the season on a, just a beautiful play. Wow. So the boxes strike first blood here at Marciano Stadium. I'm in Colombo Field with the 1-0 lead, and I think we're going to see the first time out of the day as Somerville will make some substitutions. We'll see number 11, Gabriel Dos Reis, the junior, come in. Orlando, what do you think Coach Furtado is talking about on the sidelines let right me, now? Let me tell you something. First of all, I've seen Brockton several times this year, and, and let me tell you something. This is a different Brockton team today that, that I've seen um, uh, previous games. So we, me and you have talked about this before. They're the premier program in, in mm -hmm. Brockton sports right now. They weren't for years. They've always taken a backseat to the basketball team, the football team, even the baseball team at times. Mm -hmm. This soccer team the past seven years, they were a threat to win the state championship every year. Every year they give you something to cheer about. No knocking on, uh, on any other programs, but this program – you know when you come see Brockton, you know it's, it's going to be exciting, and you know they're going to give it 100%. Brockton's very lucky to have a coach like Emilio Furtado. He has these kids every year going into the tournament. They're always playing their best soccer. Yes, indeed. So the game's not over, obviously. Somerville, they are a 15-win team. They've only lost two. You know you're going to get a kickback from them at some point. So they'll, they'll control the ball at this point as Tiago Moreira talks to his troops. They're a young team, Orlando. If you're Brockton, you just wanna you just wanna keep the pressure, keep the pressure, keep playing, keep playing your game. So we're at 19 minutes of the first half. Is the ball will be back in play by Somerville? Uh, um, we have a an update on MIA soccer and penalty kicks. Uh, BC High beats uh, Braintree five to four. Ooh, high scoring game. Yep. Congratulations to the Eagles. So the ball sent deep, and that is number three. Benicio Andre, he tries to get the ball over, intercepted by Somerville, and we're going to get a foul on Somerville, so Brockton will get a kick at their own, about the 10-yard line. It's actually a throw. The ball goes in, and that's Janelson DeBrito and Edgar DeAndre over there. Ball sent way over to the other side, and we have Alessandro Tavar Marrera. Let me re uh, correct that report. And BC High won 2-1 to one is the final, but on, five, pen four on penalty yeah. kicks, 5-4, to four. and so BC High advances in the Division I uh, bracket congratulations to boston college high so the ball sent back to somerville nice touch to himself by number 25 imani mixon he sends the ball deep and wilson andrade is there to clean that up with no issues whatsoever wilson sends the ball over to benicio andre benicio sends the ball deep and he has a sprinting fabio fernandez fabio with a little bit of room terrific defensive play by mixon the ball sent out and brockton will have a throw in and that will be number 15 from the boxes, Alexandro Marrera. Marrera sends his players in the throw. He's looking for Wadley Paul, intercepted by Somerville, but Marrera has the ball with a little bit of space in the middle of the field. Touch to himself. Another touch back to Marrera. He sends it back to Fabio Fernandez. And he scores! An incredible goal! Once again, I Fabio said, keep Fernandez. the pressure. Don't take your foot off the gas. And now Brockton's up 2-0 in a very uphill battle 
for Somerville from a team that's it's keeping the pressure. Oh, so what a Alexandro goal. Marrera with a terrific effort around the midfield, a one touch to himself, he breaks open, makes the pass to Fabio Fernandez, and the junior striker does what he's done all season, puts it in the back of the net for his second goal of the day. Right, uh, 11th goal in the season. Uh, no surprise there, Fabio Fernandez always uh, around that ball, always uh, a threat to score for Brockton. And so the Highlanders down by two. Let's see if they change their attack. Number 11 from Somerville is Gabriel Dos Reis, the junior. He sends it back. Somerville sends the ball deep, and that is intercepted. Number 15 from Somerville with the ball is Marco Hawkshill. Did intercept it by Bene that is Benicio Andre. He sends the ball deep. This is Fabio Fernandez. Another terrific move. He gets the ball to Marrera. Edgar DeAndre is sprinting. He has room. He has the ball. Wadley Paul is in front of the net. Another terrific move by Andre. He texts it. He gets by the defender. Still with the ball. That's a foul right there. No call. Uh, no call, but a terrific right. effort by Andre. If Somerville sends the ball deep, that was Dos Reese sprinting, who was unable to get it. Yeah, it looked like DeAndre got pushed right in the back. Benicio Andre with the throw, and the ball's out of bounds. A throw in for Somerville. And Benicio Andre there again. A one touch to himself is Jason Marrera. Sends the ball deep. Somerville with the ball. They kick it. That ball will be out of bounds for a Brockton throw in. We are at the 16 minute mark of the first half. A Brockton two, Somerville zero. Uh, it's, uh, Somerville's on their heels right now. Brockton just keeps on applying the pressure. So the throw in will go to Wadley Paul. Wadley Paul, well, what a tough first touch is out of bounds. Somerville throw in. And that will be Marco Hux Holly. He sends it back to number 17, Joshua Sandoval. The ball to number 21 in the middle field, Jackson Love. Nice pass over. He has room. Over to number seven is Gabriel Asanasio. He sends the ball in a one terrific header to himself. And number 21, Jason Marrera. And Wolf Lenz Victor is there again. And anything in the middle of that box, and Wolf Lenz Victor is there. So that will be a Brockton kick, and Wolf Victor will send the ball. Yeah, we got another uh, uh, score from out of town, uh, Division One uh, soccer. You got Springfield Central, the 42 seed, uh, leading Atterboro, one to nothing. So we're going to get a foul. Brockton will get a ball at the 30-yard line of Somerville, as the foul was on the Somerville defender. Let's see who takes the kick. That looks like it will be number 20 from the boxes, Alessandro Tavares. Brockton sends its players deep with just Benicio Andre back. Tavares taking his time, no rush with the 2 0 lead. He sends the ball deep into the box. He's looking for Wadley Paul or Wolf Lenz Victor. Mm. Ball sent back out deep, and that is intercepted. A nice play by ben ben Benicio Andre with a terrific oh, defense what a play. right there. After Waldemar Rodriguez misplayed a header. Yep. So those three Brockton defenders, they always know where each other are. So I don't know what the call is here. What a blistering start to this game for the boxes. So the call is made on the other end of the field. So Somerville's going to get a free kick around the 35-yard line with the ball on the other end of the field. And that will be Marco hawks Holly, I believe, on the call. You look at the score, but Leo, it's 2 nothing. Brockton has hit the post twice, so it could actually be worse for Somerville. So Brockton intercepts the ball. Alexandro Marrero with the ball. He has room. He has Wadley Paul. Wadley Paul is sprinting. Oh, what a defensive play by Mixon that time. And we said his name a bunch of times today. Amani Mixon is there to clean that up for Somerville as Brockton has just put tons of pressure on the Highlanders today. So it will be the first corner kick of the day. And we're going to see number 21, Jason Marrera. Oh, actually, I apologize. That will be Alessandro Tavares. On the corner, the left footer. Brockton sends in guys deep into the box. Marrera is streaking. He sends the ball deep. The ball gets over. Oh. The ball. Almost deflected that time off uh, Nunez right into his goalie's uh, hands. That would have been dangerous. So Rafik Miller, he loses the ball. Brockton intercepts it. And I don't know what the call is. The ball will be out of bounds. It will be off Brockton as Somerville controls it. And there is number 21 over there is Jason Marrera doing fine defensive work. The ball goes to the middle of the field and Dos Reese has it. He sends the ball back. The ball is sent deep. Looking for number 15, Marco mm. Huxali. Intercepted by number 15 for Brockton. Alexandro yeah. Marrera has been terrific again. all day. Wadley Paul. 
Wadley Paul. Nice play by Mixon. He sends the ball over to number 17, and that's Joshua Sandoval. The ball's in a dangerous area. That, that, that would have been a dangerous. Out. That was dangerous right there. Ball sent back. Mixon sends it out. Intercepted by number 20, Alessandro Tavares. Edgar DeAndre to Fabio Fernandez was sprinted. Tavares still with the ball. The header is there. Wadley Paul with the ball. Nice one touch to himself. He has room. He sends it over to Jason Marrera. Marrera plays the ball back to number 20, Alessandro Tavares. Ah, just a little bit high. Just a little bit high. Constant pressure by the boxes. Constant. So we creep under 13 minutes of the first half of a 2-0 Brockton lead. Division I state tournament at Rocky Marciano Stadium. Somerville sends the ball deep, and that is Rodriguez, who heads it right back up, and Somerville will have a throw in around midfield. There's the ball to Dos Reese. Dos Reese with the ball. Nice touch, but intercepted by Rodriguez. Intercepted by Somerville. And the ball in the middle of the field for Somerville will be Eric Estrada. Nice. He has room. He continues. He sends the ball in. Intercepted by Benicio Andre. Janelson DeBrito. Janelson DeBrito. He is. He loses the ball. He comes back defensively. And that's nice to, to first of play. Benicio Andre. He sends the ball up to Wadley Paul. Wadley Paul has the ball with room. Back over to Fabio Fernandez, over to Alexandro. Jason Marrera turns it over. Oh, a terrific play by Wolf Lentz Victor on the sliding defense. Number 21 from Brockton is Jason Marrera who sends it out. Yeah. And we have a couple boxers down. The yeah, that's play has be been Brockton's physical. Ball. Another foul on Somerville. It's been plenty of them. You got Nunez down again for Somerville. The top goal scorer on the field. Uh, that that'd yeah. be that'd be a huge loss for Somerville. He's limping, but he's not asking to come out. And yep. Coach uh, Marrera is not even thinking about taking him out. Right, Junior. Actually, you know what? I apologize. He is going to come out. Yep. It's high school now, Orlando. You can go back into the game. In the old right. days, you couldn't. Right. So the substitute will come in for Eric Estrada. And, and you know, uh, Nunez just doesn't go out this game easily. Um. And Brockton will send in Manny Lopes, the junior, in to give Fabio Fernandez, the goal scorer, a break. So Wolf Lentz Victor at the 40-yard line of Brockton at 11-11 of the first half. Yeah, we'll try to get an update on Nunez there, see what his situation is, but he's clearly in pain. So Wolf sends the ball in deep. The ball's headed by Edgar DeAndre. Wadley Paul was sprinted. Somerville has the ball. They are in control and around their own 30-yard line. And that will be a Brockton throw-in on the misplay by number seven, Gabriel Usanaso. So Brockton will have a throw-in. As we see, is that Anthony Pina Santos in the game? And we're going to get uh, Jason Marrera with the break. So the box is in no rush with a two-goal lead. The throw-in goes, and that is... Manny Lopes. Manny Lopes with the ball looking for Janelson to Brito. Janelson one touch to himself, mm. and the ball sent away by Somerville. Wolf Victor controls in a terrific header to Alexandro Marrera. Alexandro Marrera. He's been a big part of both goals. Wow, I'm surprised not a penalty there. Yeah, so that looked like a little bit of acting there that time by Marrera. So the throw in looking for Dos Reese. Dos Reese with Benicio Andre. Benicio Andre will have the throw in. As Brockton again in no rush. There's Alexandro Marrera with the throw. He throws the ball looking for Wadley Paul. Wadley Paul has it. Nice touch to himself. He's able mm. to knock it through, intercepted by Somerville. A pass looking for Dos Reese, intercepted by Benicio Andre. Number 15 from Somerville has the ball. Marco Hux Watch out here. They have room. And they all are terrific oh, save. My. What a save by wow. Wilson Andre. He hit the post and it's deflected off the Brockton goalie. Wow. So Somerville with their real first chance of the day. What a beautiful cross pass that time. So the goaltender and the goalpost with the save. So Brockton getting a little careless here yeah. in the first half of Lando with a two goal lead. Yep. And the play has been physical. The yeah, referees need to out, take control you know, of this game. Yep. And uh, number 20 there for Brockton did not like that trip, uh, Tavares. So Brockton is going to get a timeout here. Uh, you know, I'm sure Coach Furtado not pleased with the last five minutes. Brockton with a little too much 
uh, individual play around their own 30, 40 yard line of their own pitch have turned the ball over. Some of them with their best chance of the game, Orlando. Right, two nothing. And they say the two nothing in soccer is the, the worst lead you can have. So you got to stay on your heels. You got to keep playing your game. And um, beautiful opportunity that time by some of them. A beautiful uh, pass. And I don't, I, don't, I don't know how that didn't go in. Wilson Andre got his left hand on the ball. Yep. It seemed like he got his left hand, then the top of the bar. Don't think we had the replay. So the postman's by himself today. He's got to do all the jobs. We are, he, I'm sorry, we already, so we, me and Orlando do not have the replay right in front of us. Right. But of course the postman had it. You guys were able to see the ball off. Yeah. It looked like the left hand, then the bar. Uh, he hit the header, it hit the pole, then it hit the, uh, the yeah. Brockton goal. He deflected it out of there and it was kicked away. Um, so as we break out of that timeout on a beautiful Saturday afternoon, Rocky Marciano Stadium, Leo Genitasio along with the legend Orlando Galveo. And I should remind you, Brockton has hit the post also. We've, we've seen three shots hit the uh, post in just this game. Of course, we got the postman, Mike Simmons. He does it all on the production. The boxes lead the Highlanders 2-0. We are out of a timeout. Brockton in control of the ball at the nine-minute mark of the first half. Wolf Victor sends the ball deep. And that ball is headed by Edgar DeAndre. Wadley Paul, he sends the ball uh, over to Marrera. And that's just a bit out of the reach of Marrera. So Somerville will control the throw-in. And that will be number 17, Joshua Sandoval. The ball sent deep. And that ball will go out of bounds. And it looks like it will be a Somerville throw. Dos Reese on the throw. It's good to see Eric uh, Estrada Nunes back in this game for Somerville. Marrera with the ball. Janelson DeBrito's over there. And that's going to go off Brockton. Dos Reese. And you've seen the, in the uptake in the uh, Somerville pressure yep. Orlando these last few minutes. They know their season's on the line. Mm -hmm. So the throw-in will be Joshua Sandoval to Dos Reese. Back over. Cleared out. Benicio Andre misplays it. And it will be a throw-in for Dos Reese. Wolf Lentz Victor is there with a terrific header. Number 21 from Somerville is Jackson Love. He sends it up. And Jadilson DeBrito Good cleans defense. it up. And here we go. Wadley Paul. The ball is there. The man he lopes. He He's has. Got him. Oh, just, oof, a just out of the reach of Edgar DeAndre. Intercepted, and Janelson DeBrito with the ball. Dos Reese has been all over the field for Somerville this half. And we'll get a foul on Brockton. Yeah, that was a clear foul. And he's going to get booked. Yeah. Well, they called. They haven't called that all game, and I think the referee now are going to be making those calls. Right. So Manny Lopes will be booked. I don't know if that was deemed a, a yellow card. It was a, clear, it was a clear foul. But considering everything that's transpired in this game so right. far in the first half, I'm very surprised to see that yellow flag, uh, that yellow card go up. So Manny Lopes will go out. Back in for boxes will be number 21, Jason Marrera, the sophomore. On the free kick from Somerville will be Joshua Sandoval. His last cross was almost a goal for Somerville. We're at seven, almost seven minutes of the first half of a 2 0 Brockton lead. Yeah, that, that obviously happened uh, on the Somerville bench. They reacted like the world was over, so yeah. the, the, uh, the referee immediately Might just, have been influenced. You know. So Sandoval with the kick. Everyone goes deep from Somerville. It's a really good kick into the box, and it just goes by everyone. And that ball looks to go out of bounds. Saved by number seven by Somerville, and a nice play by Gabriel Anasiso. And the ball will be thrown in by number 14. Jose Lopez, he sends the ball to Nassiso. Lopez sends the ball cross over the middle to a dangerous Sabio, the Dos Reese. Yeah. Well, that's a dangerous play. Yes, and uh, th no yellow card for that one, I guess. Oh, that was a dangerous, dangerous play. Yeah. And that was, he got Benicio Andre, and those three Brockton defenders are like a brick wall back there. Like you said, Leo, the, the referee, the lead referee, uh, Larry Caldwell, has got to get this game under control. I like that he's letting him play, yep. but you got to be extremely and, careful and, and maybe, with the bookings. And maybe to his defense, that's why maybe yeah. that yellow card came up. So Wolf Victor sending the ball deep. Wadley Paul is there. He heads the ball, and Somerville controls it, and that's Sandoval. Sandoval sends it back to Rafik Miller, the goaltender. He sends it back over to Sandoval. Sandoval with a nice touch pass, pass Mar uh, Pina Santos, intercepted by Marrera. He's looking to Edgar DeAndre, yeah, and he has Marrera. He's sprinting again, and he sends the ball. Amani Mixon just sends it up out of the, a dangerous area for a Brockton throw-in as we creep to the six-minute mark of the first half of a 2-0 Brockton lead. The ball is thrown in by Jason Marrera, and the ball will be headed out by the boxes. 
and that will be a throw in, and it looks like it will be Joshua Sandoval. He sends the ball back to Mixon. Mixon sends it over the middle of the box. The left-footed defender sends it forward. Intercepted by the box is number 20, Alessandro Tavares. He loses the ball in Somerville. That's Tavares back again. Brockton loses it again. And the ball is streaking forward. Yeah, and it looks far. like Wilson Andrade will yeah. clean that up with no problems. Benicio Andre was there. As he takes a seat, he looks like he's out of breath. As he looks to be uh, maybe cramping a little bit. Uh, yet another player down here in this first half. Very physical game. You don't see Brockton making a lot of changes with that as defenseman. Yeah. So the Brockton trainer, Brianna Pina, will come in and take a look at Benicio. You want to talk about nonstop action. Oof. It's been a really fun first half here. Again, we're at Rocky Marciano Stadium, the Armand Colombo Field, Division I State Tournament. The 11 3 and 2 Brockton Boxers versus the 15 2 and 1 Somerville Highlanders. I'm Leo Genitasio with the legend all over the city. Everyone knows him, Orlando Galveo, along with the postman, Mike Simmons, on the production. So, what are we going to have here? Is Benicio going to come out of the game? And he will, yes, we're going to see a change to the Brockton defense. Number 12, Anthony Delgado, the junior. He's been steady when he's come in, called upon this year. I didn't see what happened to Benicio Andre, but. Um, I thought he might have been cramping. Yep. Looks like he's going to He's going he's gonna to take at least off, the rest of the first a, half off. Take a break. Hopefully he gets back in there. We need him out there. So the boxers will control the ball here. As it where the clock is still not started up. Wilson Andre controls the ball. As the clock starts, we close in on the five minute mark. The ball's over the midfield pot. A nice header. Wafley Paul is streaking. The goal can oh. nice play. Rafik Miller to get it out of trouble. Great play by Miller. Rodriguez with a nice touch pass to himself. Waldemar keeps it out of trouble. Edgar DeAndre with Pina Santos. Another, Edgar sends the ball out of bounds. Another player who's been all over the field for Brock today is Wadley. So Somerville controls the ball back to their defense. That's Mixon. Mixon sends it back to Rafik Miller with Wadley Paul in pursuit. Mixon controls the ball. Sends the ball deep, looking long. And you're going to have Wolf Lentz Victor there. Yeah. And he one touches it to himself in a terrific defensive play. The ball's kicked away, and that's Valdemar Rodriguez who gets rid of it. Somerville turns it over. Edgar DeAndre, Edgar DeAndre with the ball. He's looking, ball, the ball is sent deep. Ah, just too far from out of the reach by number 15, Alexandro Moreira. So Somerville will control the ball as Mixon sends the ball. The left footer sends it deep. The ball is streaking. Somerville has it. He gets behind the defender. Whoa, the what a play. Goes, the flag goes up. It's, uh, it's going to be offsides anyways, but what a play by the Brockton goalie to save. Uh, uh, can't take no risks there. He didn't, he didn't know it was offsides and a good stop. So Somerville has really turned up the pressure. Brockton's going to have to match their adrenaline these last few minutes of the first half. So we're going to have Wolf Lentz Victor on the kick as Brockton sends people deep. The ball is deep. It goes about the 40-yard line of Somerville. Controlled by Sandoval. He kicks it deep. Pina Santos. He looks. The kick is over. And Dos Reese. He's there. We said his name a bunch of times. One touch to himself. A terrific one pass. But Pina Santos uh, kicks it out of trouble. Good good defense there. But they're going to get a corner kick out of it. So some of those really turned up the pressure these last 10 minutes. I think we're going to get a throw. And we're going to get number 17, Joshua Sandoval. Looks He'll, like I'm to be sure. I'm sorry, uh. Folks. He'll throw it to the box, but he sends it back, and that is number 25, Mixon, the left footer. The ball is turned over. Jason Marrera, Edgar DeAndre. Edgar DeAndre controls. A mm. nice touch to himself. Another one. Look oh, at this. Terrific dribbling. Over to number 20 from Brockton, Jason Marrera. They have Alexandro Marrera streaking, and that ball will ah. just be kicked out of bounds as Brockton Really, what's a nice touch and pass. there's right that there. guy Mixon again saving a disaster for Somerville. So, Alexandro Marrero on the throw. Jason Marrero with the ball. The left hand, the center, that Oof. ball's deflected just over the net. 
Another great scoring opportunity for Brockton. Just deflected. That was going in, Leo. So that was Alessandro Tavares, and that ball's just deflected. So the boxes will get a corner at about the two-minute mark of the first half. As that replay shows that. There is the corner. The ball sent in deep. Brockton. <sighs> Ooh. Janilson DeBrito just unable to put that in the back of the net. As at the two-minute mark, the time will be kept on the field. Rafik Miller, the one touch over to Sandoval to Mixon. Mixon sends the ball back over to Sandoval, and that ball will go out of bounds and a turnover. Big mistake there. Now you give Brockton the ball. So the boxes will have a throw in at about the 12-yard line of Somerville. And that will be Alexandro Marrera. He's been all over the field today. Taking his time, Brockton in no rush. Anthony Delgado, Anthony Delgado sends the ball over the middle. It's turned over. Some of it with the ball looking for Estrada. Estrada, and that ball is Waldemir Rodriguez. And I think we're going to get the halftime. So the boxers with two Fabio Fernandez goals, up 2 nothing. Orlando, I don't think Coach Furtado can ask for anything more. What an explosive start to this uh, playoff uh game for Brockton and uh let's be real it, it could be more than two nothing Brockton just all over the field and Somerville at the end we show uh, they showed a glimpse uh, a glimpse of uh what they can do as well it should be a very exciting second half so the boxes with two goal posts early and get two Fabio Fernandez goals on terrific passes from Edgar DeAndre Wadley Paul and Alexandro Marrera they're gonna go at halftime up two nothing here from Rocky Marciano Stadium I'm in Colombo Field. We'll see you in the second half.
So welcome back here on a beautiful Saturday, fall day, Rocky Marciano Stadium, Almond Colombo Field on the campus of Brockton High School. Leo Genitasio along with the legend. They know him all over the city. East side, west side, Montello Camp fellow. He's the legend, Orlando Galveo. And of course, you got the postman, Mike Simmons on the production. No one does a better job. The boxers and the Highlanders in the Division I state tournament. Orlando Brockton, I don't think Coach Furtado could ask for a better first half. Two goal posts, two goals, a 2 nothing lead. What do we expect in the second half? Uh, don't take your foot off the gas. Just keep it going. We know, I said it before, 2 two nothing lead sometimes can be a very uh, dangerous lead, even though, you know, because teams start to feel too comfortable. And then all it takes is that uh, that first goal for Somerville, and then they get things cranking themselves. So keep the pressure on, on them. Keep them on their heels. And let's get out of here with a victory. If you're Coach Tiago Marrera from Somerville, what are you saying to your team? Uh, well, you know, the last five minutes they applied a Actually, lot of pressure. I would have seen more than like 10 minutes. Oh, maybe 10 minutes. They applied, keep the pressure going. Uh, things are going to come our way. They hit the post. And like Brockton hit the post twice before they got their goal. So, so Somerville had their best scoring chance at about the 10-minute mark of the second half. All well, I'd say, well, 10 minutes left in the set first half on a terrific cross from Joshua Sandoval that just missed uh, Gabriel Nusasso with the header just was off the goal post in the left hand of Wilson Andrade. So we're minutes away from the second half as Brockton looks to continue their run in a state tournament. The winner of this game will be playing the following Wednesday and the winner of Weymouth and King Phillip. Brockton has played Weymouth over the years. It's always a good rivalry in soccer. I don't think Brockton's played King Phillip in the past in soccer, but you know, that's what Brockton's looking forward to. As the referees get the clocks ready, we're seconds away from second half action here at Armin Colombo Field in Brockton, Massachusetts, the city of champions. We, should, we, we saw how skillful Brockton is with the ball. How about that first goal? Terrific. Alexandra Unbelievable. Moreira, uh, Edgar DeAndre, Wadley Paul, and especially Fabio Fernandez with the finishes. Of course, you can catch us where uh, Brockton Community Access, you can catch us on the Brockton channels. So Somerville will control the ball in the second half. It's glad to see their best play, that Eric Estrada. He's been banged up a little bit, but he's back in the game. Also in the game would be Gabriel Dos Reis, number 11. He came in and has been a factor. Somerville controls it. Number 25 sends the ball deep. And that's Wolf Lentz Victor. He heads the ball over to Anthony Pina Santos. Pina Santos will head that ball out of bounds. And Somerville showing urgency. The throw in will be number 14, Jose Lopez. And that's intercepted by number 20 from Brockton. And that is Alessandro Tavares. The ball sent over, and we're going to get a foul on Somerville, and we're gonna get a free kick for the boxes. And we're glad to see Benicio Andre back out there. There's Valdemar Rodriguez, he has space. Rodriguez will send the ball deep, and the ball's turned over, and Somerville kicks it out of bounds, and it'll be a Brockton throw in. And that looks like it would be Ale Alexandro Moreira on the throw. Alexandro with some room. He throws the ball, and he's looking for Edgar DeAndre, and we'll get another throw in as the ball's up around midfield as the boxes and the Highlanders in second half action. There's the throw. He's looking, and that is Fabio Fernandez and Edgar DeAndre. And the ball controlled by Somerville. And Somerville kicks the ball out of bounds again. And Brockton now will have the throw in right around the box at the 10 yard line. We're under 39 minutes in this second half action. Brockton two, Somerville zero. And it looks like Wolf Victor on the throw. Brockton sends people into the box. Wolf throws the ball. The ball's in space. The ball's headed over. And a nice oh. play by Somerville. And the ball's oh, what a save. Ball. And Miller, the ball. Oh, Another two save. chances. Wow. And Rafik Miller with three saves, keeping Somerville in this game. Wow. Two outstanding, amazing saves that time by Miller to possibly save the game for Somerville at this point. So if Somerville is able to come back in this game, they're gonna thank their goaltender with some superb saves right there. Brockton sends the ball and they'll turn the ball over. So the goals for Brockton were, were the first half was at 
1903, and the second one at 1734. So Brockton controls the ball. Valdemar Rodriguez will send the ball deep. And that will be controlled. Edgar DeAndre with a nice move. Spins around him. He has space. He sent the ball up deep. He has room. Oh, he hit another. the post again. Another post, the fourth of, of this game. One by Selville, three by Brockton. Wow. Uh, some of those lucky they're not down by five and, and goals. Brockton has started the second half exactly how they finished the first half. So Somerville with the free, with the goal kick. That's Rafik Miller. And the ball will be kicked away by Sandoval. He sends the ball deep. And the ball is a bunch of boxes here. And that's controlled by number three, Benicio Andre. Here comes Brockton again. To Adley Paul. Fabio Fernandez is streaking. Fabio Fernandez. He <laughs> scores. Not this time. Fernandez gets the hat trick, I believe. What a nice kick. No chance this time for Miller. Brockton, three nothing. So Orlando, we've talked about it all day. The three forwards, Fabio Fernandez, Edgar DeAndre, Wadley Paul. And the, you'll see the right there, the terrific pass over. And Fabio Fernandez makes no mistake and puts that one in the back of the net. I said it from the get-go. This is a different Brockton team here in this playoff game. And they're just flying all over the field. Somerville is just constantly on their heels. And um, I wouldn't want to be in Brockton's section mm, of, the, of this mm. tournament. So Somerville down by three right now. We're at 37 minutes of the second half. The Highlanders are going to have to send people forward. The ball sent back to number 25, and that's Imani Mixon. He sends the ball deep. And Brockton defensively, Alessandro Moreira, he's been all over the field today. And the ball will be a throw in for the boxers. Moreira with the ball, Brockton in no rush with a three goal lead. Moreira throws the ball, he has space, and that is, is that Wadley Paul? I think it is, Wadley Paul sends the mm. ball deep. You have Pina Santos streaking. Pina Santos and Wadley Paul, and that ball will be a throw in for Somerville. And that will be number 14, Jose Lopez. Jose Lopez to Eric Estrada. Ah, Eric Estrada with Pina Santos. Again, what a terrific defensive play. Santos, uh, I believe it was uh, number five, DeVega. Is that DeVega or number two? Number two, sorry. Yep, good play. So, Janosin DeBrito is back. Now, Brockton will send, and Fabio Fernandez gets rid of the ball. The ball sent deep and controlled by Somerville. Number 21 is Jackson Love back to Rafik Miller. Miller, the junior goalkeeper. A good kick, looking deep, and that ball is going to get behind Brockton. Number five has space, uh, but that's Victor, though. he is not going to beat. Huh. Wolf Victor. No, you're not. In a run, does he run track? He, he, I don't know if he does, but if he does, not maybe he should, right? What an athlete. So Benicio Andre on the left side controlling the ball. To Baltimore Rodriguez. Baltimore Rodriguez, Fabio Fernandez in the middle field. He's got three today. Fabio, a nice one touch to himself. He's uh. feeling it. The ball sent deep. There's Baltimore Rodriguez again. Benicio Andre now. Benicio Andre. Kicks the ball. That's gonna. That should go off some of Yeah, it looked like it defected. Yeah, Benicio off Andre, right. I think he hurt his foot right there. Mm. Looked like they kicked the ball right at the same time. And if you ever done that, but you ever played soccer, that that stings. Right. So we are right around the 35 minute mark of the first half. I'm Leo Genitasio, along with the legend, Orlando Galveo, and the postman, Mike Simmons on the production. The boxes like three, Somerville zero. Brockton Community Access. You can catch us on the Brockton channels. So the throw in for boxers. The box of the ball will go deep, kicked away by Sandoval. Looking for Morales. Morales is over there. And that header will be off. Uh, that will be off the boxes. It looked like it deflected out Somerville there. Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah, that's the correct call. The referees have really been on point today. So number 15, Alessandro Moreira on the throw. He'll send the ball deep. There is Edgar DeAndre. Edgar DeAndre looking for Wadley Paul. Intercepted by number 14, Lopez. Lopez with the ball. One touch, looking for number five, Sammy Texera. Intercepted. What a nice play right there by, is that Jason Marrera? Yeah, that's going to be a, a foul on Alessandro Tavares, I apologize. Yeah. And so, again, Nunes is down again. So it's been a physical game here today between the Highlanders and the Boxers. You people don't know this. During the 50s and 60s, Somerville and Brockton was probably the best rivalry in the state, football, basketball, and baseball in Orlando. Yeah, Somerville. Rich, rich history. Rich athletic tradition in Somerville. 
So number four will be, of course, Wolf Lentz Victor. If he wasn't the MVP of the Southeast Conference, I'm sure he was in the top three. There's the kick, the ball sent deep. It's a terrific kick into a dangerous area. Headed out. Ooh, and that ball's just out uh, of They're gonna call handball. Handball, the uh, referee's gonna call so, on Brockton. Some of them will control the ball as we creep down to the 33 minute mark of the second half. MIAA Division I State Tournament. Brockton and Somerville. So that will be Sandoval on the free kick. The left foot ascends it deep. And that is controlled by Pina Santos. And he sends that ball back up out of a dangerous area for her Somerville throwing. And it looks like number 14, Lopez, will throw the ball. As Brockton is just all over the field. Janilson to Brito and Valdemir Rodriguez. What a terrific defensive play. Headed up, controlled by Dos Reese. He makes a move. He makes another terrific move. But that is Alessandro Marrera. He makes another move. He gets it up to Edgar DeAndre. Intercepted in a terrific defensive play by Sandoval. But again, Valdemar Rodriguez and Benicio Andre just clean it right up. Clean it right up. So the Highlanders control the ball. They send it back to number 15, and that's Marco Hawksolly. Somerville controls the ball. Dos Reese, who's been terrific since he's come into this game, and we're going to get a foul on the boxes. Dos Reese, the junior forward, has really been impactful for Somerville. So Somerville with a, looks like a kick from about the 22-yard line of Brockton. And they are going to send everyone deep, and that kick will be the left footer, number 17, Joshua Sandoval. He sends it in. The ball is looking for Dos Reese. Somerville, oh, they just missed that. All right. Looked like they had something there. Unfortunately, some, someone's down for uh, Somerville. So that. I believe that was Nixon on the kick, the left. Uh, left uh, okay, yeah, you're right. Mixon. And that was. Sorry, Mixon. Yep. Number eight from Somerville, Francesco Santos. I apologize. Number five, uh, CME Texero tried to deflect it in. So Brockton controls. And that is Pacheco Andre. Oh, he's just uh, bumped off the so ball. Push, no call there. Oh, no call. Wow. So number 10 is Eric Estrada. He sends the ball deep. Wolf Lentz Victor's there. The ball's headed over into a dangerous area and kicked out of there by Valdemir Rodriguez. Paul at Wadley Paul is over. He's in, the, in a battle with number 14 from Somerville, Jose Lopez. That time, uh, Andre, uh, Benicio, who's battled up and down. Getting up every time he goes down with a great defensive play there. It's been a physical game as we creep down to the 30-minute mark of the second half. Brockton and Somerville. Brockton leading 3-0. That's Fabio Fernandez down, the goal scorer today. And there is the Brockton trainer, Brianna Pina. I know her by first name because my kids had to deal with her all season, Orlando. Mm. She does a good job. She's fabulous. So the time will be out. As Fabio is back up, let's see if he comes out of the game. Looks like Manny Lopes is warming up. Yeah, Fabio's going to come on. Looks like he's all right. Uh, hat trick so far for Brockton. Uh, Fabio, you got to come back in here. So Manny Lopes will come in. Somerville with a throw in. They're down by three. Number 14 from Somerville will be Jose Lopez on the throw. Brockton's so deep. Uh, it's, take one guy out, put another guy who can uh, score at any time. That's a terrific throw in into space. And Wolf Victor cleans it up. Somerville sends the ball back up, and it's intercepted by Brockton, but back over to Somerville. Number 20 is Anthony D'Souza. Anthony D'Souza plays the ball up to Lopez. Lopez, a nice uh, move. Great defensive Manny play. Lopes with the ball. Wadley Paul looking for Pina Santos. A behind-the-back pass intercepted by Lopez. Lopez, and that ball looks to be out, off. I think that's going to be off Brockton. And the throw in for Lopez. I think they uh, may have called a foul. Yeah, it's a foul. So Lopez on the kick. Somerville sending people forward. We're down at 30 minutes of the second half. That's a good kick into a dangerous part of the field. Brockton controls it. A nice play by Benicio Andre. Baltimore Rodriguez is over there. And that ball's going to be to Wilson Andre, the goalkeeper. He sends the ball over. Nope, he holds it. And he's sending people forward. Yeah, you're the sum of it right now. You're starting to look at the clock. Down 3 nothing. 
That ball sent over to number 20 from Brockton. Alessandro Tavares. Pina Santos is there. He has the ball. He turns. He makes a nice move. He tries to make another move, and that's a really dangerous play. That might be a card. We're going to get a card on number 14, Lopez. And Pina Santos, he went down hard on his Yeah, things are starting side. to get a little chippy there on the Somerville side. Uh, looking at that down three to nothing. Uh. So Pina Santos is back up. Right. He's all right. Good job. As Lopez is being spoken to by his coaches. I think he's going to take him out the game. I think he's, yeah, he's talking to the trainer. Getting his goggles fixed. Fixed. So Brockton will control the ball here after the foul. We've had two players booked today. Manny Lopes and it looks like Jose Lopez. So Wolf Lentz Victor will have the free kick for midfield. We're under 30 in the second half of this Division I state tournament game. Hey, watch this kick now by uh, Victor. Very dangerous. The senior, he sends the ball deep. Looking for Manny Lopes. Manny Lopes to Edgar DeAndre. Edgar DeAndre to Wadley Paul. Wadley Paul to Pina Santos. The left footer is blocked by Somerville, and the ball is sent back out deep. And there is Benicio Andre. Benicio sends the ball deep, and Somerville clears it out. The ball sent over, and there's Wolf Victor over there. Wolf Victor with the ball. He controls it like this. he usually Look does, and that is just superb defense. That ball sent deep to... To DeAndre, he sends the ball over, he has the ball in space, and there is the goal! DeAndre on a beautiful feed. Goalie had no chance. And now, that might be the clincher right there. So Four that, nothing. That starts once again, Orlando, with Wadley Paul from a great play from, once again, Wolf Lentz Victor. Mm. A terrific defensive play. He shifts it to his left foot, sends it up to Wadley Paul. They find the senior striker in the middle, and he puts it in the back of the net for a 4 0. That is just beautiful soccer. Beautiful team soccer. They look just unbelievable today. Oof. This is as good as we've seen them all season. About the perfect time to be playing your best football. Mm -hmm. So, Somerville down by four. We're at 28 minutes of the second half. The Highlanders with the ball. Number 25 is a mini mix and he sends the ball deep. Dos Reese, what a nice, dangerous play by the junior forward. Wilson Andrade I got some cleans it right up. Someone down for Somerville there. That's Dos Reese. Yep. Gabrielle Dos Reese. He's been impactful since uh, he's been the junior's been put into the game. So Somerville really has nothing to hang their head about. They're just fan really a better team today. Brockton is a traditional power these last few years. Some of these seniors have been in the tournament. They've played in high leverage games. This is a young Somerville team. I'm sure this is something they'll build upon. Well, I was talking to Coach uh, um, Tiago Marrera earlier. He he knows. He he said it. He said Brockton's always uh, poses as a big threat, and uh, we have to play our best game if we're going to come out, out of here with a win. So they – Clock is still not started up. We're going to have a free kick at about the Brockton 30-yard, 30 34-yard line, and that's going to be number 17, Joshua Sandoval. He sends the ball in, and that looks like it's number three again. But he's ah, that's Andre. a push in the back there. Yep. So Brockton plays it fast. Edgar DeAndre, he has Manny Lopes in the middle of the field. He has Wadley Paul. Wadley Paul and a nice defensive ah, play. That's a great defensive play right there. Eric... Eric Estrada, what a good defensive play. Mm. So, Sandoval with the ball. He sends the ball deep, and that is cleaned up by number three from Brockton, Benicio Andre. Jose Lopez, Jose Lopez tries to get the ball, and it's Wolf Lentz Victor. The ball's out of bounds, and it may be a Somerville throw-in. Nope, it'll be a Brockton throw-in. So, Wolf throws the ball deep. It is Pina Santos over there. He makes a good move. He's being held. That's actually number 11, Wadley Paul. He sends the ball. Look at the egg of DeAndre. Uh, he was streaking, and it's uh, good defense by number 25, Imani Mixon. So Somerville in control of the ball. Intercepted at midfield by number 20. Alessandro Tavares, Brockton with the ball. Good defense, right, good defense by number 17, Joshua Sandoval. 
Brockton with the ball. It's touched over. That's Marrera again. Brockton with another player down. That's number 20 who's down, and that is Lausandra Tavares. He's been good today. So Dos Reese with the ball. Tavares is back up. Dos Reese makes a move in the middle of the field. And Wolf Lentz Victor just cleans it right up. Yeah, let's hope uh, Tavares is okay. Uh, up for nothing now. We don't need no injuries. Tavares and Marrera are terrific in the midfield of Brockton, aren't they, Orlando? Uh, terrific. Good athletes. They have a good sense of open space. They're, ter they're just yeah, he on the defensive the end. They're so. superb. And I won't be surprised if uh, Coach Furtado gets in some of the uh, younger guys, mm -hmm. get them experienced during the tournament. More importantly, keep away from bookings and injuries. Yeah. So Tavares, well, that, that, that doesn't look good to have to carry yeah, him off the not field. Good. You don't want to lose him. So hopefully he's just cramping. So in for the boxes now will be. You might be right. It might be cramping. Yep. Yep. In for the boxes right now will be number 19, David Semedo, a junior. So he'll come over to the midfield and be the center mid for the boxes. So the midfield has really been Marrera and Tavares all night for the boxes. Tomatoes in there now. The clock will start up again as soon as the ref blows the whistle. We're at about the 26-minute mark of the second half of a 4-0 Brockton lead. Brockton Community Access. You can catch us on the Brockton channels. Leo Genitasio along with the legend, Orlando Galveo. Of course, the postman, Mike Simmons, on the production. The boxes in the Highlanders. So Somerville controls the ball. The ball sent deep. Dos Reese is streaking. Janilson DeBrito, we've said his name a lot today. And that's going to get a foul. And yeah, that's it looks like a handball. handball. A handball. So yeah. Somerville controls it. Dos Reese has some room. He has more than a little room. He sends the ball deep. Uh -huh. And that is number three, Benicio Andre, who sends it out. So Dos Reese sends the ball deep again. And that ball's deflected. Pina Santos gets rid of it. Controlled by number 21, Jackson Love. And we'll get a goal kick. As Somerville starting to send people mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. A season's on the line, down 4 nothing, Trying to get us something going here. So Brockton in no rush with a four-goal lead. And it looks like Wolf Lentz Victor will take the free kick. The senior. The left footer. It's a terrific long kick at midfield. To Manny Lopes, looks like he has space. Manny Lopes heads the oh, ball. what a pass. To number 11, Semedo. Semedo, a good touch pass to I mean, Furtado. He has room. He takes another look. And Edgar DeAndre had room. And here we have, here's this Eric Estrada. He sends the ball deep, looking for number 23, Jesus Evandros Da Silva. And that ball is just out of his reach. So number two, Valdemar Rodriguez. Valdemar Rodriguez kicks it up to Pina Santos. Pina Santos with space. He, you know, this will be a turnover. Estrada with the ball. And that Semedo comes back with a good play. Semedo is there. He controls it. And we're going to get a foul on Somerville. Uh, uh, what is it? Avadro uh, uh, Silva was just put in the game. Boy, he's big guy. That's a big man. That's a big man. He looks like a tight end. Ugh. So Somerville down by four. We've seen some changes. Wolf Lentz Victor from the 35-yard line of their own Brockton side. The ball sent deep by Victor. It is bouncing and, go and taken away by number 25, Imani Mixon. Eric Estrada with the ball. Eric Estrada with room. Nice touch pass to himself, actually. The left football looking for Dos Reese. Yeah. Intercepted again. By the boxes, number three, Benicio Andre, He's the senior right defender. Now. Eric Estrada again, the ball's kicked over to number seven, Gabriel Nusasso. And that ball kicked again out by Somerville. And Wolf Victor is there to clean it up. Nice move by Semedo. Semedo's intercepted by Jackson Love. The ball is kept alive by number five, Sammy Texera. Pina Santos interception. He has Wadley Paul. Uh, Wadley Paul just. Yeah. That went out of bounds. Just a little bit too far for him to handle. As Great idea, though. We are at 23 minutes of the second half. Brockton four, Somerville zero. So Jackson Love with the throw, and he got the ball to number five. 
That's Sammy Texera, intercepted by Pina Santos and Wadley Paul. Number 23, the big man. Oh, great pass. Juice Savandro. Another nice pass. Eric Estrada has room. He has more than a little room. He looks and he just wide. Yeah, that time, let me tell you something. Uh, Andre Vinicio got in there with a great defensive play, and uh, that's why that shot went wide. So Brockton will make some changes. We'll see number 21, Jason Moreira back into the game, and Wadley Paul takes a seat. Yeah, uh, he needs a hand. Also, number 23, who's not on the roster, and he actually looks like a freshman out there, Orlando. He's a I, believe, I believe that's uh, Ruben Mart Mart Martins. Okay. He's, Ruben Martins, yep. He's in a junior. He's a yeah. younger-looking junior, but he's in the game. The ball sent forward. Controlled by Brockton. That's Semedo, a nice touch to himself. The ball taken over by Somerville. Number seven is Gabriel Asanasio. And that ball is going to go out of bounds for a Brockton throw in. So the box is in no rush to um, get the ball back in play, up by four goals. Yes, we're going to get Baltimore Rodriguez in the throw. Still a lot Ruben of time Martins. left in this game. Ruben Martins is there. Intercepted. Manny Lopes is there. Ruben Martins with the ball. Nice touch pass this. To number 18, Anthony Pina oh, Santos. So Somerville with a lot of room. He kicks the ball deep. Dos Reese has room. But you know, Wolf Victor is there and he. Uh, look how smooth Victor he just is. Really is. Look he how uses smooth his body he is. Perfectly to get the goal kick. That is a soccer player right there. Wouldn't be surprised to see, see him playing at the collegiate mm. level next year, Orlando, and a Wouldn't few of these other guys. So Wolf Victor with the kick. We're closing in at close to the 20 minute mark of the first half. Second half, I apologize, that's unofficial time. The kick is by number 15, Marco Hawkshill. So Dos Reese, he has the ball. He has a little bit of space. He's down the left side. What a defensive again. play by, again, again, that's that Benicio guy, Andre. Andre. So Brockton loses the ball. Eric Estrada with the ball. He looks over, intercepted by number 23, Ruben Martins. Martin sends the ball deep, and he is in space right now. Uh, well, that looks like it's a trip. We're not gonna get, we, yeah, we're going to get yeah. that call. Let's see what we get here. Because I was yeah. in the open field, and he just uh, pulled his guy down. Looked like Jackson Love just tangled his feet mm -hmm. with um, Jason Marrero. So Brockton will get the kick at the 30-yard line, or about of Somerville. And we're going to see Valdemar Rodriguez take the kick. We're going to go under 20 at Armand Colombo Field, Rocky Marciano Stadium on the campus of Brockton High School. So they switch them. That will be Wolf Victor on the kick. Watch out here. The left footer. He sends it. He sends it right at goal. Oh, Ooh, it just misses. What a shot. Just wide. He, so, was, he, was, looking for, he was looking for the corner there. He caught Rafik Miller peeking over to the other side. He sent that right on net, and the goalkeeper made a nice save. So the boxes will get the corner kick. And that will be number seven, or number eight taking the corner, is that? No, that'll be, it looks like it is, is that Manny Lopes? And the kick is wide, deep, looking for Wolf Victor. No, it was actually Benicio Andrade, I apologize. Wolf Victor, he loses the ball to Dos Reese. He comes back, he gets the ball, gets the ball again. Yeah, good defense that Nice turn. defense, Jose Lopez with the ball. Dos Reese, touch pass, intercepted by Brockton. And there's Jason Marrera, Jason Marrera with the ball. Uh, we got somebody down there for Somerville. Looks like that's Dos Reese down and an offsides on Brockton. We're under 20, 19, 16, 15, as the time ticks on and a Brockton lead. Can't see, is number 17 down for some of earlier? I think it's Dos Reese. I could be wrong. Thought I saw 17. I think that is number 11. Gabriel Dos Reese. As we're going to get a lot of work from the um, trainers today. As Brianna is going to check on Dos Reese. So again, Leo Genitasio, I'm along with the legend, Orlando Galveo, the postman, Mike Simmons on the production, Brockton Community Access, catch us on the Brockton channels. We look to see, it looks like Brockton's gonna win this game, Orlando. 
Brockton will be in play Wednesday night. We're either going to be here, home against um, King Philip, or on the road against Weymouth. We don't know if we will be there. I will talk to the postman about it after. If Weymouth does not carry that game, we will be there. Yes, indeed. We'll be along for the ride for the boxers. So that is Dos Reese who is coming out. And number 26 will be Lucas Gomes, the sophomore. This young Somerville team. Coach Marrera is getting a lot of his guys into the game. So the ref ready to put this ball back into play. It's been a really good crowd here for state tournament soccer. So the clock goes. We're back to play. The ball sent deep. It's a good kick. Wolf Victor, what a nice touch pass to Martins. And that was really, really clever touch. Wolf Victor, again, to Anthony Pina Santos, Jason Marrera. Jason Marrera at the turnover. Eric Estrada with the ball. He sends the ball into space. Good defense. Manny Lopes with the ball. Manny Lopes with space. He sends the ball deep. He's looking for Martins. Martins with Jackson Love. Jackson Love back to the goal team to Miller. Miller to Jackson Love. Jackson Love with room, kicks the ball up, intercepted by Pina Santos. Pina Santos. He sends the ball up. The junior, he's got Martin streaking. He keeps the ball in play. Nope, just out of bounds. No, the ball is in play. Uh, no, they say he's so out. So we're going to get offsides. So the goal kick will go to Somerville. The ball sent up to the left side. Somerville with the counter. They send the ball deep. The ball's kicked up, intercepted by Anthony Delgado. He sends the ball up, looking for number 19, David Semedo. Semedo sends the ball deep, and that looks like it's a streaking. Alessandro Tavares. A lot of subs in there right now for Brockton. So Manny Lopes will have the throw as Brockton with a commanding lead. No rush to get the ball in. Wolf Lentz Victor coming up. The only person back for Brockton is Valdemir Rodriguez. And those defenders don't come off the field unless they're hurt. Mm -hmm. So Wolf Victor, he's dangerous on these throws. The ball sent in deep. Edgar DeAndre, they oh, had him. Ooh. Just wide. Just missed that. And that was Manny Lopes. That was a great throw in by Victor. It. So Somerville, you're not seeing any urgency. Late in the game here, I think they've accepted their fate in this one. As we go on to 17 minutes of the second half, the ball sent in deep. The ball will be played by Somerville at their own 30-yard line by Jose Lopez. The ball sent deep, looking for number nine, Abre Debreu. Debreu's intercepted by Wolf Victor, and the ball's played back to Wilson Andrade as he sends the ball up deep, intercepted by Jackson Love. Love with the ball. Eric, oh, good shot, and that ball just barely saved by Wilson Andre on the strike by Eric Estrada. Yeah, I was just able to get it, keep this a uh, 4-0 lead. Brockton able to clean the clean sheet, and that ball sent up by Wolf Victor. David Semedo's there, David Semedo, mm. and he falls down. And that will ball will be a foul, and that will be a Somerville free play. And that will be a kick around the 45-yard line of their own side of the field. The ball is sent deep, and they're looking for number seven, Jose Lopez. Victor Wolf again. Victor is there. Number eight is Francesco Santos. And the throw in's going to be by number five, Sammy Texera. Wolf Victor is there. Wolf Victor is, is with the ball, and he... Man, he's really mm, good. Mm, he mm, just mm. gets the ball out of a dangerous area. So the ball's turned over by Anthony Delgado. Eric. Nice pl defensive play by number two by Brockton. Is Valdemar Rodriguez. He has a streaking. Number 10. Edgar DeAndre. He's still looking. He has the ball. He turns. He passes it to Manny Lopes. Oh. And he sends it over the crossbar. So Edgar DeAndre. Just he had the calmness to control the ball. The perfect pass to Manny Lopes. Manny had the whole open net and he sends it over the crossbar. So Somerville sends it deep. Wolf Victor really controls the ball. He's so good back there. And that is Jason Marrera. Jason Marrera to Marks. Marks with the ball. 
And that's going to be out of bounds for a Brockton throw-in. As Brockton will send everyone forward, and the throw-in will be Valdemar Rodriguez. Valdemar throws the ball in. Headed by Somerville, controlled by Simi Texier and out of bounds. So Valdemir will have another throw. The only guy back is Will Victor. He throws the ball in looking for David Semedo. And that's Edgar DeAndre. And Edgar is able to control it. So Somerville with the throw in. And Jackson Love sends it back to number 27. Valdivicio Jefferson, or Jefferson Valdivicio, I apologize. Anthony Delgado, Anthony Delgado, Edgar DeAndre. Somerville finally with control of the ball. Anthony Delgado breaks it up. And that is just too much Brockton defensively right there. Manny Lopes with the ball. Manny Lopes looks. He has space. Nice one touch to himself. A nice pass up looking for Marks. Intercepted by Somerville. As the Highland descended deep. And this Wolf Victor is back there. He misses, plays it, but is back to control it to himself. Another smooth play. Mm. It's Eric Estrada. He intercepts the ball. Yeah, and Wolf Victor defensively. He's just too much. Yep. Not my territory, he says. If there's a better center D back in the state, I want to see it. Who's mm. better than him? So Somerville will make a change. Number 22 coming into the game. Whirlin Souza, and coming out for Somerville will be number 26, Lucas Gomes. Somerville looking for Eric Estrada. Intercepted by Pina Santos. And that ball will go out of bounds for a Somerville throw in. And that will be Jackson Love. Love throws the ball over. And that's number seven, Gabriel Usanaso. Looking over on the side of the field to number 15, Marco Hawks Holly. The ball will go out of bounds and Somerville will get a throw in. We're under 13 in the second half. So Somerville gets the ball back. Number 25 sends the ball. Pina Santos gets it, clears it out. And it's back over. Jackson Love cleared out by Jason Marrera. Jason Marrera looking for number 23 from Brockton is Ruben Martins. So we're going to get a free play for the boxes as the game has crawled down to pretty much a halt here late in the game with a 4 nothing Brockton lead. Jason Marrera looking for over to Valdemar Rodriguez to Pina Santos. Pina Santos, nice one touch to himself with space. Takes the ball up, continues. Uh, great defense. Good defense by Eric Estrada. He sends the ball deep, but Wolf Victor's right there. Wolf Victor, mm. one touch to himself. Wolf Victor again. A nice touch pass, incredible what pass. A pass. To number five, Diego De Vega. Diego De Vega sends the uh, ball in, and that's going to be a it. corner kick. And you know, Fabio Fernandez with three goals, um, Edgar DeAndre with a goal and a bunch of assists. But is anyone better than <laughs> Wolf Victor today? He's unbelievable, isn't he? Just so, smooth out there. So the Brockton corner will be by Nevin Fonts. Nevin Fonts. With the kick, he sends it. He's looking for Pina Santos, who was streaking. Anthony Delgado, good defensive play with David Semedo there. Fonts, Fonts with the ball, touch to himself. And that's going to go out of bounds for a Somerville throw in. So Jackson Love will have the throw. Looking for Texiera. But number two, Valdemar Rodriguez is there. He tugs it back to Wolf, and Wolf Victor. Wolf Victor, a nice touch pass to himself to Anthony Delgado. Anthony Delgado. To Manny Lopes. Lopes with the ball. He sends it deep to De Vega. Intercepted by Somerville. Somerville sends the ball back to the defenseman. And that's cleared out by Imani Mixon. We said his name a bunch of times. So that is De Vega. Intercepted Somerville. He sends it deep. They have him streaking, but no one's going to beat Wolf Vector the ball. He touches it to himself mm. once again. And he sends the ball out of danger area. Good play. Oof. He is smooth. So Somerville with the throw in to number seven, and that is Gabriel Usanaso. He sends the ball in deep. He's looking for number eight, Francesco Santos. Well, Victor just comes and takes control of the ball. He has the ball again. He sends the ball with a nice uh, touch pass. Looking for Devega. too far, though. But Miller comes out with a nice kick out to Jackson Love. Jackson Love 
loses the ball, and that's Valdemar Rodriguez to Pina Santos. Pina Santos with the ball. Intercepted back to Jackson Love. Jason Marrera with the ball. Jason Marrera looking for number five from Brockton, Diego De Vega. Back over to number 18, and that is... Anthony Pina Santos, and that ball's uh, going to go out of bounds. Couldn't get nothing on it. So we're under 10 minutes of the second half, 4 nothing Brockton. So Somerville controls the ball. The defenseman will send the ball deep. He's looking for a streaking number two from Elliot Bicknell, the sophomore. Somerville kick, and that's intercepted by Anthony Delgado. The Brockton defense has been impeccable today. Ball kept alive, and that's Pina Santos. He gets rid of it to number 18. To David Semedo. David Semedo with the ball. One touch, he gets around the defender. He sends the ball, and that ball's going to go out of bounds, and a good effort by the boxers. So we're going to get a kick from Rafik Miller. We're unofficially at about 8.35 of the second half. Somerville down by four. So the free kick from the box will be by Joshua Sandoval. And he plays it to the goaltender back to himself. Taking his time. The ball sent very deep. Looking for number 11 who's back into the game. Gabriel Dos Reese. Dos Reese with a nice pass. He has room. He loses and he just misses the net. And that was some right. of those best chance of the second half. Best Orlando. chance of the second half. He just caught, wide. He caught the box of defense napping a little yeah. bit. So it will be a goal kick for the boxers. Anthony Delgado looks like he'll be taking it. The junior. With the kick, it goes long and deep. Jackson Love is able to control it with the header. Manny Lopes now. Manny Lopes now looking for Diego De Vega. Diego De Vega intercepted by number two, Elliot Bicknell. There is Jason Marrera. Jason Marrera with a nice touch pack to Pina Santos. Turned over back to Somerville. And that ball is played back out of bounds. I think that will be a Brockton throw in. Nope, that will be Somerville. As we're going to go on to seven in the second half, Jackson Love with the throw. The time is uh, winding down here on a, a Hollander's season. But um, they got a lot of kids back next year, Leo. So Brockton intercepts the ball. That's 23, Ruben Martins. Ruben Martins has the ball over to Manny Lopes. Manny Lopes looks, looks, has it to himself. Taking his time, taking his time, makes a move. Intercepted by a good defensive play by Somerville. But Pina Santos controls it. The left footer sends it. And Rafik Miller on the nice save. So Brockton sends the ball up, and Wolf Victor with the left foot sends the ball high up in the air. Dos Reese and Wolf Victor both looking for the ball, and that is controlled by the Highlanders. The nice pass over to, to Eric Estrada, intercepted by Jason Marrera. Wolf Victor with the ball. He sends the ball up to a streaking, and that's De Vega and Ruben Martins. Martins is unable to control the ball, yeah, and down that's Rafik Miller. And we're going to get another stoppage in play for an injury. That's and that looks like it's number seven, Gabriel Asanasso. As Brianna's getting her work out today. So again, we're at six minutes of the second half. Leo Genitasio, along with the Brockton legend all over the city, doesn't matter where you go, everybody knows him. Orlando Galveo, the well. postman Mike Simmons on the production. Well, the only place that matters today is Brockton High School. It's the only place I want to be here. At and we Brockton just High. got a good point from the athletic director, Kevin Cairo. He likes you a lot better in the <laughs> microphones and the headset than he does in the stands. So the boxes look to be taking this one home. They'll be in action Wednesday again. We don't know if we're going to be home here against King Philip or on the road in Weymouth. But either way, it looks like we'll be either doing the game or Weymouth will be bringing it to you. It should be a good game between Weymouth and King Philip. Looking forward to that. Lando, we talked about this earlier. Coach Rattado always wants his team playing the best soccer going into the tournament. They've been dominant today against a good team. Uh, he knows he, he 
talking to him uh, before the game. He's confident in his team, he, and he feels that you know he can he can beat any team, and you see why. They have their aspirations early in the season. Win the league, check. State championship, that's the second check they're looking for. So Somerville controls the ball. The ball sent deep, intercepted by Anthony Delgado. And number 22 into the game for Brockton is DeJuri Desir, the senior. He's getting some playing time as Brockton makes some wholesale substitutions. And Brockton will control the ball. The unofficial time right around the five-minute mark of the second half. That's Anthony Pina Santos. He's been good since he's been in there in the second half. As the Brockton defense has been a stalwart today. The ball yeah. sent deep, controlled by Somerville. A good point you made. Uh, uh, top score, 13 goals, uh, Eric Nunez. Is not a lot of space for him today. It's been very frustrating. So Somerville with a nice play by number 25 right there, Imani Mixon. He's been good today for Somerville. As they'll control the ball. As the ball is sent deep, they're looking for a streak in Dos Reese. He has a little bit of room. Anthony Delgado is there and gets the ball out of trouble. Manny Lopes with a hard touch to himself to Jason Marrera. Jason Marrera, two nice touches. Looking for DeVega, and the ball is sent back over to Wilson Andrade. So we're at unofficial times with the, on the field kept by the officials. Anthony Delgado to Jason Marrera. Jason Marrera with a nice touch to himself. Jason Marrera over to DeVega. DeVega sends the ball in, and it's intercepted by Somerville by number 15, and that is going to be Marco hawks Holly. The goaltender kicks the ball out. And that is DeJory Desire. He makes a nice play. And we'll get a Somerville kick. Somerville sending people forward. No quitting these Highlanders. As the ball sent over the middle field, the Pina Santos gets it out of trouble. Controlled by Joey Guevara. Pissed up by to Brockton to Markins. The number seven, Manny Lopes. Manny Lopes in the center of the field. Back over, and Anthony Delgado heads it out of trouble. Pina Santos using his body with Eric Estrada. Manny Lopes sends it out of trouble again. Somerville, and they're just playing back and forth at this point. A nice touch pass by number five from Brockton. Diego DeVega, Diego DeVega to Manny Lopes to Martins. Back over to DeVega. He has time, he has a little bit of space. Makes a move around one man, another man. Another man, nice play. And he'll get a corner out of this. Might be a so great work by Diego DeVega right there. As Brockton will get a, will get a timeout for a Anthony Pina Santos, could be cramping. I'm sure right now, Coach Arminio Furtado, the only thing he wants to see is this game end, mm -hmm. along with the postman. I know he's busy tonight, too. <laughs> so we don't want to see him limping off the field. Pina Santos has been Here's very good Burke today. On the far side, I need you to go get the soccer ball down by the statue. So Manny Lopes will be on the corner kick as we are winding down to the end of this game. So no rush from the boxes as time tick, tick, ticks on. Manny Lopes will take his time. No rush whatsoever. Sends the ball over to good kick. And that's number 12, Anthony. Oh, he just misses a goal. And the ball's off. Watch out here. Just why. And that ball bounced right into the center yeah. of the box. And Brockton just misses their fifth goal. Yeah, that ball was taking bounces after bounces. And um, Brockton had an opportunity. Number 18, uh, uh, number 19 had his chance there. David Semedo just missed. So Somerville plays the ball forward, and that is Dos Reese. Intercepted by DeVega again. And the ball settled down by number two, Elliot Bicknell. Intercepted by number 18, Anthony Pina Santos. I apologize, that's David Semedo. And there's Dos Reese, he has room. And he just misses wide. Wide. As Somerville had the, uh, another great scoring chance. Trying to get their first goal there. As Just wide. Pina Santos, good to see him stretching on the sideline along with Fabio Fernandez. As this game is close to being over. As we have some substitutions. As Anthony Delgado will kick the ball on the goal kick. And he kicks it long and deep. 
And it looks like it's going to be number five, DeVega, over there. He's still running. He's still running. Jackson Love with a good defense. As Somerville kicks the ball up. That's Elliot Bicknell with Jason Marrera around him. Jason Marrera. Elliot Bicknell will control to number eight from Francisco Santos. And that is, is that Valdemar Rodriguez kicks it out of trouble. Jason Marrera with the head. I'm looking for Manny Lopes. Marrera again. Jackson Love, a one touch two. Eric Estrada. Eric Estrada, and that ball's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be a Somerville throw. A lot of subs in there for Brockton. Getting some, a little bit of limelight here at the end. So the Highlanders with the kick at the bark to 40 yard line. Everyone's deep for Somerville. The kick by number 25, Amani Mixon, intercepted by the boxes. Good defense. Eric Estrada sends the ball in, and Wilson Andrade is right there again. He wants to keep the clean sheet. That might do it right there with the clean sheet. So, no rush from the boxes. Andre kicks the ball, and that ball is controlled by Somerville. Back to the goal kick to Rafik Miller. Yeah, referee Caldwell looking at his clock. Looks like uh, it's and seconds we away. Are Jackson Love. And there it is. So, we are going to finish it up today at Rocky Marciano Stadium. Brockton after a 2-0 lead in the first half of Lando with two goals by Fabio Fernandez. They get a third by Fabio and a fourth by their senior striker, Edgar DeAndre, to finish the scoring up today at 4-0. Absolutely amazing uh, start for Brockton from start to finish. A complete game, and they're off to the second round. So Brockton dominated from start to finish. They kept a clean sheet. Hopefully no injuries. Congratulations to Somerville on a superb season. But again, we're going to wrap things up here. Rocky Marciano Stadium, I'm a Colombo Field. I'm Leo Genitasio, along with the legend Orlando Galveo. And let's not forget the postman, Mike Simmons on the Mike production. Mike the Post. We'll see you Wednesday. Go Brockton. Good night, everybody.